The Muslim world and Islam is the fastest growing religion in the world when you include birth rates and conversion rates. Every day that goes by, more Muslims are coming into the world. One out of every four men, women, and child is a Muslim. There are so many Muslims who we would now call unengaged or Muslims who have not been exposed to the idea of who Christ is. Every day, Muslims are dying without the assurance of knowing Christ. These are people that Christ died for. Someone needs to tell them that there is a Savior who loves them very much. Each Frontiers team is tasked with seeing the gospel planted within social networks or within families. Recent studies indicate that Muslims are turning to Jesus in unprecedented numbers. We need to be out there inviting people to give their lives for this magnificent cause. Things that are happening in Afghanistan, in Pakistan, in India, in North Africa. These are opportunities to minister the grace and love of Christ. Throughout history, Christians have not been effective in making disciples among Muslims. And that's partly because they haven't had enough training. One of the strengths of Frontiers is that we will provide and we do provide general training, but also specific training to the specific geographical part of the Muslim world that you're going to be going to. Now is the time for us to recruit more workers. Right now there are opportunities we have never had before and we may never have again. There is a window to which we must respond. I don't know, none of us know how long these windows are going to stay open. This is the right time for Christians to influence Muslims before the world influences them. The problem is not with the field. The problem is the laborers are few, and we're seeking to see the laborers increase among Muslim peoples. And that's why we say it's too soon to celebrate, it's too soon to quit. <laughs>